All right, at this time, we need to make some room for our next speaker, but we will entertain some questions if you have, if you have extra minute. But I would ask our esteemed councilwoman just to keep in mind the length of your answers. All right, in fact, I'm going to call chair privilege and ask the first question, and then we'll get to the hands that have been raised. This one is directed to um, Councilwoman Bishop. Yes. All right. Last summer, you made headlines throughout the nation because in your primary against your, your uh, opponent and, and the incumbent, you tied exactly 157 votes to 157 votes, and then you all had to do it again. Now, what I want to call out is that there are over 7,000 voters in your district, give or take. What will you be doing and what can we be doing to increase the number of votes that come out on any given election? especially in your area, which has a, a kind of a rough turnout. That's the thing, Bill. A lot of people don't vote because they don't believe in, who, in anybody that's actually running. So one thing about me, the reason why you didn't say how many votes I ended up with the second time, but the reason why I almost I've, I had, I think, almost 100 more votes than she did that second time. It's because I actually got on the phone and I started calling people. I had other people calling people. And I asked for votes. I asked, I, and see, that's, that's, that's unheard of for somebody who is actually trying to run to actually call. And I'll still call afterwards, but I just think, we got to start believing in ourselves again and in our democracy again. And, and so as we do that, more people will get up and vote. But if there's a lot of people, if they don't believe in the people that are running, they don't vote. Thank you. I have a question. Um, prior, before you were talking about some eateries and people not going to work. And uh, I do DoorDash all over and uh, and um, I noticed that a lot of people don't have transportation and at another meeting I make, brought up the uh, aspect of Matt Transit uh, and I wasn't sure if it was the county or the city that wrote the grant that it, it, at least have them so that they charge a dollar one way uh, whatever but if that could be expanded beyond the four mile radius uh, and that's one question. And the second one is, talking about eateries, my understanding there was going to be a Chipotle on the property of the belt, like across, I guess, from Chick-fil-A or whatever. It was fencing up there, belts blocked it somehow. I'm not sure what the reason is, but I noticed the fencing came down. Is there anything the council can do that? Because I'm an advocate for healthy eating. And that is definitely one way to eat healthy. I mean, the only way I go to Chipotle, is, well, I'm from Houston, so, but I have to go all the way to Greenwood. You know, I have to plan activity in Greenwood in order to go to a Chipotle. So do you know anything about that debacle there or if they may build over where Buck Stove is? Um, as far as Matt Transit, um, it's the county, but, and, and one thing about it, it is growing. It, it, it just takes time, um, but it, it's, it's slowly go growing, and it's been really doing really good because it, you're right, um, there are a lot of people, because I even do some grub hub too, but there's a lot of people who, um, and that's, that's a delivery service too for meals, so I deliver to a lot of handicapped people and people that don't have um, transportation, and yeah, that system, that Matt Trans is a very good system and we're trying to grow it, but it takes time. Yes, ma'am. Do you have an answer on Chipotle? Ch any, with, inside with, in, any inside with, info? With Chipotle, I think that was something that the city had was doing, so I'm not 100% sure about that, but I can still ask. All right, we have another question here. Ask your question. On the council, what are your priorities right now? I, I get what you're saying, there's what you ran on, and then once you see the reality, you say, ooh, this is what we have to face and work through. So as a council, how do you assess Greenwood? I mean, I get being upset that a restaurant or two is closing, 
But if you live on the north side, you see these enormous subdivisions that are going up. So mm -hmm. somebody's coming to Greenwood. Right. So oh, yeah. there must be some appeal. Yeah. So what do you assess Greenwood's situation to be and what are your priorities as a council in addressing some of that? Well, I can't speak for the council itself. I'm only one. But um, I, I'm always <laughs> I'm always a positive person so and, and I feel like because I know I saw where they said we had been on the board for a year already we have not um, the year will end up will, our year will begin in January so we're, I'm still learning um, but I do feel like collectively as a board we we do work well together we've come you know we come up with a lot of things that um, it's new to me, even though I've been in Greenwood all my life. And so it's good to be a part of helping try to make good decisions for Greenwood. Um, I just feel like we're trying to do everything that we can to make sure that we make good decisions as, you know, the different, um, the different things come up as far as, you know, when it's time for us to have meetings. So I encourage you to come to our meetings or even watch our meetings on our YouTube channel. Um, and so you can know and be informed of what what's going on. Um, some things have you know come up to us that you you can't necessarily just say you know out in public until it's time. So and that that's that's with all boards you know it's it's certain things that it's a process. So yeah, that's why I say you put the best people in place who have life experiences who know how to make the best decision for all, not all right, just We've got time for one last question that we must wrap up. Hello folks, I have a question to ask about the county. When you're going out from the library down Main Street all the way out to way past the corner with the 7-Eleven and all that and, and who for less, there's building after building that is just dead and they became vagrant places and everything. When can we get them clean up? Because that makes the county and Greenwood look really bad. Would you, just, would you repeat that question or describe that location one more time? From, from the library to the 7-Eleven along Main Street, she's talking about a lot of closed buildings and what are we doing about that? Down 25. Down 25. Right now, um, with that, I mean, that, that has to be individuals have to actually bring those specific places, you know, to the county. If they're in the county, then again, that's everybody working together and, and um, letting the county know what places are uh, um, vacant and what those places are um, so there are no... When, when we have people going out throughout the county, then they'll know what to look for and know what's going on at those places. But again, we need to know what those places are and what is going on at those particular places that need to be um, handled so we can take, take charge of that. And, and I wanted to add to some of that is in the city and some of that is in the county. Um, so that you have to keep that in mind too. But, you know, anytime there's some t something that needs to be taken care of by code enforcement, you can always call them as well. But I just wanted to make sure I added that some of that's in the city. So it's some of it's the city's responsibility, then some is the county's. But private owners, you know, yes, ma'am. But thank you for that question. All right, we want to thank our guest, Jamel, final words. Just, you know, their information is listed on their website. So as you develop more questions, because this is just a crash course, we can't answer every question, but we want you to know that they're available. Contact them with their numbers that are posted on their website, um, on the county's website, as well as the yeah, business cards. A couple of cards are at the back as well, and email your questions so that they will have a plan to work with. Again, this is a short snippet of issues, but I thank each and every one of you guys for your questions and for sharing them. And if you don't feel like you got a detailed answer, it is up to you to continue that dialogue offline. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming out this morning.